It should have been a busy Tuesday morning for Emmanuel Rako until the tragic night. One need not to be told about the shock on Emmanuel's face. Many people are scared here, you know, scared here, you know, they can find him out. A man for a soya sene, and I see. My shop was surviving a loan I took from the bank and all is burnt. We need help. The 39-year-old has sold second-hand clothing for 15 years until the disaster. I'm sad. I have a family at home and for 15 years, this is what I've been doing to take care of them. It has been a week after the incident happened and the affected area looks quite abandoned. Meet 30-year-old Alfred Assar, who used to sell second-hand clothing in large quantities in the Bent area. He tells me his goods worth about 10,000 Ghana cities were all destroyed by the fire. All Alfred does is to come and sit by the Bent shop daily, hoping for a better tomorrow. The time that I got here, all my goods have been. All my money I've been. Now I'm sitting here, I don't even have anything to do. The situation is not peculiar to Alfred alone. Rashida Ali is also in a similar predicament. I passed out when I saw the level of the ravaging fire. December 6, 2022 marks exactly one week after fire engulfed shops here at Kantamantu Jerry Market. Most of the traders here woke up to the shocking news. At this particular spot where I'm standing used to be a wholesale shop where they sell carpets, clothes and a lot more. They're calling for an urgent help. Under the scorching sun, some of the affected traders are seen sitting closely to their burnt shops while working with hope of getting hope from a good Samaritan. Distressed traders want authorities to come to their aid. The walls are weak. We are scared to sit around. We don't have anywhere to sit. We are here temporarily. This is the third time in 2022 since fire ravaged structures in Cantamanto, including shops and banks. The public relations officer of the Ghana National Fire Service, Timothy Afum, says access to fire hydrants in the market anytime there's an outbreak has been an unending hurdle. One hydrant was found just in the middle of the market, but a permanent structure has been built on that fire hydrant. Over the period, we have been submitting reports for high fire hydrants to be constructed in the market. So I am sure in between those periods, that fire hydrant was built and the uh, building has been constructed on the fire hydrant. So it was in the course now we're fighting the fires that the occupants of the market themselves came out to tell us that, oh, you have a fire hydrant here, and it is in the middle of a shop. He believes proper layout of markets could prevent the recurring devastation. The way our markets are built must be taken a look at again. We need to get permanent structures like, like we have in um, uh, Kanishi. When was the last time you had a fire at Kanishi market? because the structure there was properly built. The fire outbreak has affected over 500 people trading and living in the Cantamanto market. Whether rain or shine, these helpless victims will be at the mercy of it. Godwin Asidiba, TV3 News, Accra.